everyone i hope you're having a great day so today's video is going to be super short a review and a wear test of the brand new makeup revolution bake and blood translucent powder if you follow my channel you guys probably know already how oily my skin is and i really struggle to find a good setting powder that would keep my makeup in place all day long usually i need to blot a lot and you know do touch ups so i really want to put this into the test if you watched my previous video then this look looks rather familiar because i am filming this makeup tutorial for eyes i actually was using the primark loose pigment so that's already up on my channel if you guys want to check it out and i do like to film quite a few videos in one go because i thought if i'm gonna be testing out one product i get this another one as well so here it is a makeup revolution bake and blood translucent powder we did have different colors i picked up the translucent as i thought it was gonna work the best because it has no color in and it's not gonna adjust the foundation color plus it's the easiest to use i think so it's still sealed it still has this little sticker in front haven't tested this out or anything whatsoever so a proper first impressions review video okay so far really like the simple packaging reminds me a lot of this makeup revolution mega bronzer this glitter part already worked off you know why because i always have something on my hands like the primer or something so if i touch this it kind of rubs that part off and i've been using this oh my god you guys so so much i did a proper review on it this is a pure dupe for the benefit bronzer hula bronzer the video is in here if you guys want to check it out been obsessed using this so much honestly you guys so more details in it, that video is in there okay let's check this out as i said packaging so similar to that so it's kind of like the same line this one was super affordable super cheap as all the makeup revolution products are they don't as an animals it's vegan friendly formulas and yeah makeup revolution stepping up the game every time i try the new product so big hopes from my side for this product hopefully it's as good as they said to be so without any further ado, I think we should just test it out because I have my foundation on already so I really need to set it in before it dries out. Just taking the Real Techniques setting brush. I'm gonna gently tap under the eyes. Kinda press the powder in. You can use a powder puff if you wish. I do like to use a brush. So the most oily I get is in my T-zone and my like, chin, nose and this part in here gets really really oily, really really quick actually. So we shall see if it's gonna help that. I mean they don't state anything like that but it's a big and blood. So it means they recommend this powder for the touch-ups. So it should be good for oily skin. I mean we shall see, we shall see. And that should do. So I'm gonna finish off my makeup. Wear this, wear this, wear this powder. Wear it for all day long. Yeah, cause now it's morning still. It's not even afternoon. I'm gonna wear it all day and see how my skin looks. I really hope it's actually good for my oily skin. So I'm gonna take the Mega Bronzer in Color Cool by Make Revolution and do a little bit of contour. I'm gonna add a little bit of a Makeup Revolution highlighter. This one is reloaded in just my type. That is another package once again, so I think it might be the same line maybe. Whoa, you guys, love it, this highlighter. This highlighter for me is my absolute go-to highlighter after I did the review video, after I tested it out. It's, yeah, I'm wearing this every day since then. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna wear my makeup all day long or like at least for six, eight hours or so. And I'm gonna come back to use in the evening, evening for me, for you, it's gonna be in a second, <laughs> to see if my makeup stayed in a place, if it looks the same or my skin got super oily or needed to do any touch ups so I guess I'm gonna see you soon then
Alright you guys, so I finished up my makeup. I wore it for what's the time? For six hours I'll say so. So if anything looks different or anything in this room, if the lighting looks different, if my makeup creased under the eyes a bit, because it did crease in here a bit. It's sort of normal. The only thing that I did, I reapplied the lippy as I had some food and it kinda worn out a bit, so but saying that, I haven't done any touch-ups on my face. Like my foundation creased a little bit in here on the side of the nose, but that happens normally with any products that I use. No matter how good or bad a product is, I always get it in here like it always sits in here for me. So I'm not gonna blame on this powder or anything for that, but saying that, this powder is really really good. I mean a part of this part, but just ignore this tiny part in here. Other than that, my face doesn't look shiny or anything like that. I hope you guys are able to see this through the camera lens as well. Thumbs up from me for this Makeup Revolution Bake and Blow Translucent Powder. Might be my new favorite. I've been obsessed with Revolution Pro Translucent Powder for a while. It's white color, it says translucent, but it has white color in it. And it's been working wonders to me. It would keep my skin matte all day long. So I think this is gonna be my new favorite on the side of that one. If I run out of one, I have another one. Makeup Revolution. I can't fault any of their products, at least recent products. I mean, I've been using Makeup Revolution since probably the day they launched, but every time they release a new product, the quality is just, you know, there. So why go spending more when you can spend less and have a great product? By the way, it's completely unsponsored, if you're wondering. I just, yeah, sincerely impressed and liking this if you're gonna go and try this leave a comment down below let me know if it worked for you as well and what kind of skin you have because for oily skin you guys it doesn't dry my skin out by the way my skin doesn't feel dry or anything you know with some powders it might feel a bit like yeah for this one Humongous thumbs up from me. That's all I'm gonna say guys. So really hope you found this video helpful and you enjoyed watching it. If so, please don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. I would really, really appreciate that guys. Thumbs up from me for this powder. Couldn't recommend this more. I'll definitely gonna be using it and you'll see this in my future videos for sure. So thank you so much for watching and bye. Ciao for now guys.